Hello, I'd like to welcome one and welcome all to a few basic tips and trips. Tip, trips and tricks. The Dark Souls! Backstabs! For more. This part. The backstabs are kind of finicky in this game because you need to stand behind a guy, you need to stand still, and then you just tap the attack button. Anything else, you pretty much you get your ass whooped. But that's not all I want to show. I want to show parries and reposts. Which is what they're called. Repost. Nothing fancy. I Unfortunately, I'm a bit early on the thing. So what you want to do, is you want to use your big old trigger on the back. And then you want to immediately tap the right button. And you'll do a repost. Now these are both called critical hits. There are a few weapons in the game that will have more critical damage. Uh... You see that little critical underneath the attack statics, you, statistics? You want to look for that. That's critical. Um, but I think the weapons that do have it have like 130, so it isn't really that much. Uh, parries are a little more powerful... Th uh, parry and reposts are a little more powerful than just backstabs, but... Um, backstabs are fine. They're a little finicky, though. Uh, reposts are a lot less finicky. You just need to have the rhythm, but I've, I'm too soon with my rhythm. I'm almost a little too soon. I'm like, oops, too soon! You can make that into a sexual joke if you want to. See, I'm always too soon. I'm, I'm, I'm anticipatory, you could say. I think that's what they call it. I don't know, I once with this guy was old, so hey, rhythm. Now lucky from- Oh god! My ex has a tendency to sometimes break guards, but it seems that this guy- Oh god. Should've seen that one coming! Uh, these guys are much easier one by one. Which is why I recommend having a bow. But bows aside, let's solve this problem. Like I would. Kick and strike. Now a lot of enemies in this game, they'll be they'll be uh, fighting. They'll be in a fighting mood and you wanna you wanna make, you wanna make sure they die a little cool. Yeah, I didn't beat the boss yet, so I get humanity some kills. Sometimes. Liquid humanity, mind you, so I can't carry them around like old fancy dancy. Let's take a gulp of yield and flask. You wanna be at full health? It's a good thing to be at full health. So I'm gonna show you how to apply this valuable knowledge on bosses. And don't forget, luring out enemies, I mean, this guy, the bandit, starts out with like a, like, nine dexterity, but those three points and the ability to use a bow are gonna pay off. Stand, oh, god damn it, I missed it up. I probably didn't stand correctly. Yeah, and don't turn around when I'm doing that, you silly goose. I forgot, gotta use the blood bow. Now, actually, for the most part, you could just not get the dexterity. I mean, it doesn't affect how you shoot with the bow, it just affects the damage, and... The idea behind the bow is that you lure an enemy over, that they just get hit, and that they're aggressive. Aggro, as they call it. In certain industries. You might also see that I have all the aerogemins. I like grinding at this part, just so I can get my basic needs out of the way. A weapon armor with some poise. Poise, by the way, is very important. Poise allows you to resist an attack so they don't stagger, so you can keep slashing and hashing. Uh, she okay, I think I'm dumping a little too much information, so you might want to read the description on this one, kiddos. Now, when an enemy's telegraphing a move, you pretty much want to have your shield up. Now, as you can see, I was moving, but no, I wasn't moving. I let go of the stick just before I pressed the button. Now, if you're good enough, you can keep doing that, and you'll be able to pull off some mighty fine backstabs in your days. Uh, I, there wasn't exactly a stab, but the idea is that it's a critical hit in the back. So, one thing that shields have... By the way, shields can be used to attack. That's why this portion... Oh, God, what the hell? Oh, can't be using my arrow pointer. Um, on the left side, you'll see attack. That is no matter. Don't give a flying fuck about that. The left side is always attacking. You can attack with a shield. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah, if you pass back, you can get all this information. Yeah, here. But this is stability. Less stamina is consumed on use. You can press back. I don't know what that is on the keyboard, but it's back or select on your controller. So remember that. So see? Now, you always want to go for shields with 100% physical damage, because physical damage is one of the main reasons you even have a shield. And this you want to have high. Doesn't matter all too much. This is damage, by the way, so don't give a fuck about those. Hmm. No, I should never really look through this. Should've, probably. Uh, dur durability. If you get the repair box, you really shouldn't need to give a shit about durability at all. Now, you might be wondering, well, why does my sword have? Why does my, what does my weapon have? All these fancy dancy reductions. Well, the reason being that if you double wield, dual wield, you get this. You can block. You can still block with your weapon. You can parry with it. Or actually, I don't know if you can parry with it. Anyway, I, there are a few weapons like uh, the the rapier, rapier, rapier. You can do that with. Um, two-handed weapons are kind of cool because it's really fucking cool to wield a weapon two-handed. You can't parry, to what I remember. No, you, no, you can't. Oh, you can backstab with. Whoa, that's pretty fucking 
fancy. I didn't think you could, but apparently you can. See, now even I learned something in this little mini tutorial. Now, this does two things. I want you to look at my, uh, two, right, air or weapon, one is the first weapon, that's this one, and this one is a two, so remember that, that's how the, it goes, it doesn't mean like strong attack, weak attack. C1, it's not 120, oh, look at this. I could just show it off like this, it'd be a lot easier. Item discovery, oh yeah, I have a lot of humanity. You don't need to be human, by the way, for that to count, so don't go human if you're playing online, unless you want to be invaded or summon dudes. I like to go up. I like to engage in jolly cooperation, mind you. So, look at it, it's now 122. And now it's one... What just happened? Why did my weapon suddenly go up by, by 13 points? Because of dual wielding. When you dual wield a weapon, your strength theoretically goes up by 50 percentages. Oh, someone's sending me a file on Skype, how oh, nice. So, it means that if your weapon skills, like the axe does, with strength, it has a C, it deals more damage. But, let's say I have a weapon that takes 24 strength to wield. And I only have 16 strength. So I can't wield it. Logically, I can't wield it well, at least. But, do I wield it, strength goes up by 50%. I suddenly have a theoretical 24 strength, and kabam! I can wield that bitch, but only two-handed. I go back to one, bleh, there goes my bonus. Insane stunt bonus! Oh god, that guy is a good shot all of a sudden. Oh, wait, what? Ooh. Jesus, man, I'm not here to show off you guys. Did I? Did I, I didn't stop at the fire, did I? I probably should have. Ah, oh, whatever, I probably need the full Estus flasks I'm given. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, 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 I can do this, I can do this. I can download and look at this picture to tell the person if it looks good. I can do this. Just believe in myself, and I will believe in me. I think I can beat up that knight without too much of a problem. Okay. Now, this is why bow's good. I don't think you need to be... I don't know if range is impacted if you have less than you need, but it's always good to have a bow. Or a ranged attack. You can go with the spells. Oh, I'm going to show you something really fucking fancy. Oh, god damn it, I wasn't... I think it works better if the enemy's to the left of you than to the right of you. I tend to get that sort of notion. Um, if you want to quickly dual wield a weapon, uh, it's a bow, you need to dual wield this, so just tap the button that it's assigned to. So I can do this, and I can tap left button, and it immediately goes to dual wield, and you can do this, or you go back to solitary wield. There you go. I'll probably keep pressing uh, this direction. That might be the problem. So these guys, same story as before. Uh -uh. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. Jump attacks are pretty fancy. I don't have a heal spell yet. Probably should get that, but I don't have the faith for that. I need like 12. I have a talisman because you get one at the beginning. Black Knight! I think I can take care of this guy. I think I, I think I can. I think I can. The ring he gives you, that, that item back there, I don't really give a shit. That thing is sucks. Mainly to be below 20% health. Like, why would you want to have more defense? You're probably going to die in the next hit anyway. You might want to heal a little bit, because a good player is always at full health. I'm not, but I know what I'm doing. Now this guy is so fucking showing off. Uh, keep your shield down, wait for the telegraph, and go. Uh, don't forget, if you're backstabbing, an enemy can no longer continue their attack. So keep... Keep fucking strafing. Only block when you have to. But this guy's being a jerk. Come on. Come on. That was a bold move. Shouldn't have done that. And I should upgrade. No, actually, I can't upgrade it yet. Oh, God. I'm glad he didn't follow that up. Yeah, the frame rate's a little bit laggy. It might just be the fact that I'm constantly turning around all the mother... That's unfair! Could you stop fucking turning around on a dime? There! Eat shit! Now there are a few enemies you can actually use a jump attack on when on the ground. I don't know which enemies in particular. 
Fuck shield bashes. I hate shield. Oh god. That's a bad situation to be in, by the way. Cornered. How does he even do that? You piece of cheating shit. Nobody loves you. Not even your mother. I don't even think you have a mother. That's how much nobody loves you. That's how much nobody loves you. I'm gonna take my final drink. Let's see how this goes. He doesn't respawn, by the way, so don't give a shit about this. Okay, so you probably want to attack him when he's doing that old fancy stuff. I was, oh God, why didn't I backstab him? Yeah, it's it's really finicky, the backstabs. If you want to, you can go for a parry on this guy. I would not recommend it ever, though. This guy can hit hard, and hard hitters are not good people to, re to parry and repost at. Did I kill that guy at the top of the stairs? I hope I did, because that guy could be a jerk. So you have plenty of these big ass tough guys. You want to have enough patience. I want that shield, but if I can get that guy shield right now, that's gonna be great. Now I almost killed him. It probably won't take one more hit, but don't get cocky like that. Don't get cocky. Don't ever fucking get cocky. There you go. There you go, you get a nice 8 on the source, get a Titanite chunk. Won't be useful for a while though. In order to get a, use a Titanite chunk, you need a, a, quite a few embers, so don't even bother. So that's the blue tear stone ring. Go up to 20% health, you can get about 50% extra defense. It's not great. It is when you got a lot of HP. When you have lots of HP, that ring can be fucking amazing. So yeah, that's a little tutorial on backstabs, parries, and reposts. Kicking, which is also very finicky, so watch out with kicks. Gotta watch out with that. Jump attacks is the same as a kick, just with the other button. Did I leave? I always tend to leave that one guy up. Yeah, he's there, just still alive. Fuck you, man. I don't want to run all back. Um, yeah. Um, if you want to kindle a fire, while you're kind of in a bad position because you're online, here's a, here's a smart tippy tip. Um, what you could do... It's just die. You'll lose a humanity because when you're human, you just you can't get that humanity back. But it's sometimes worth the effort because if you don't like being online, you need a few extra extra spills. So yeah, that's a little tutorial tutorial for you. If you ever see any guy named Xylo Sapphire or Sapphire Crook, that might just be me. How did you hear me? How the hell did you hear me, you jerk? How did you hear me? Tell me. Tell me, Bobby. Tell me. I wanna know. I wanna know Bobby McBobison. I don't know, do I wanna get a heal spell for this guy? Because heal spells are nice because they always go to the maximum. I don't know, it doesn't seem to just pay off. By the way, you get 20% more souls if you kill a guy with more than 100% maximum health damage or something. I don't know how it works. Thing is, if you do more than 100% of their... If you kill him in one shot, basically, you get 20% more souls. Pretty good. Although those guys are 100 souls, but they give you 121 souls if you kill them. Whatever, this tutorial's over. You guys have learned what you need to learn. Just rewatch this, read the description, there's plenty of information. I am going to level up. But what? Let's go for some vitality. I don't know. Do I really need vitality? I mean, right now my Estus Flask is not going to keep up with that. And that's something to always keep track of. That your Estus Flask can meet the demands. Especially early on, later on it's kind of like, eh. What do I care? I can get 20 in this bottle. Never level up resistance, by the way, kids. It's useless. This is not gonna help you at all, ever. You can better sink those points in something useful. <laughs> Endurance of Vitality are useful for everyone. This is only for mages. And, by the way, if you're new to the game, Strength and Dexterity are stat scales. That means they only count if the weapon scales with that. And this is something I kinda wanna explain real lickety-split. See this? This is parameter bonus. It goes from uh, E to S. S being the best, E being the worst. And C, of course, is better than D. That's how weapons scale. So if you get a point in strength... Let me demonstrate that. 
If I get a point of strength, I'll do more damage with both of them, see? Because they both scale with strength, see? So they get a few points. I like three points. I think it's one point per level? I don't know. But, Dexterity only does that weapon because, in case you haven't noticed, my shield and the mace do not scale with Dexterity. So keep that in mind. Weapons, like the Drake Sword, have massive damage. But they suck at the end because you have so much in Dexterity and all those other things that they your other weapons might do better damage. But if you don't want to increase your Dexterity, Strength, Intelligence, or whatever to, to match enchanted occult weapons and blah blah blah, you're probably better off with a fixed damage weapon. But gosh, that's a whole different tutorial altogether. Let me say... Banzai! Ah, oh, goddammit, I messed that up. Like I said, this game is finicky as fuck. You should not do that. What did I say? What did I say? By the way, if you want to be on the same level with these guys, because if you're lower, you tend to have better... Yeah, see? If you're left rotationary based, then it's much better. So you could just always spin from the left. That's a good idea. Whatever. Enjoy the sight of a manly man and his spider shield. Na 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 na. This thing, by the way, stops all poison buildup when you're hit. It's fucking great. If you're... If you, by the way, if you're one of those curious types... Let me, let me tell you. This increases the size of the bar, but it also makes it hurt worse. So if you have a large poison resistance, it takes a lot to get that poison resistance active, but it also lasts longer. Oh god, I'm giving all these tips I should not be giving. So let me just go na 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 na